All right, I guess since we're up here, we'll do some stuff up here. Let's go ahead and dig this out. Continue. We're going to actually take this to where it goes to the house. So let's figure out where we are here. So I think we'll go through this wall here. Might as well do this. Because that other part's going to be hard right now. Yeah, what we're going to try to do is try to get this to connect with our house inside. But I do want to make this three high. Just get rid of that. There we go. Drop some more torches. Cool. Alright, so now let's see if we can go down. I have the slightest idea where we are. I just know I hear a spider. And I'm pretty sure he's right above us. start cutting over now. Where's my... I think we'll start cutting over this way now and see what happens. Start going down here. There we go. curious to see where we are right now. Digging this out. Alright, now we're good there. So now we're going to keep going down. And these picks don't last long at all. Okay, let's see now. Go down again. Wow. 
Wow, check that out. Look where we are. We're gonna go right into the house. How awesome is that? I'll bet you the house is right here. That's what it's looking like. Alright, so let me go ahead and keep going across here. Now I'm real curious to see where this goes. Might have nailed this right on the head. Okay, now we're done. There's our new area. That goes up into our tower. Very cool. And it's daytime. So now we can continue what we were doing. Okay, guys, I have some good news and I have some bad news. Good news is all the conveyors are complete. Bad news is the last video that I made that shows me making the conveyors was corrupted along with the audio and the video and everything and I didn't feel like shooting it over again because if I shot it over again you guys probably wouldn't be getting a video tonight and I wanted to give you guys a video tonight so what I'm going to do is first of all I want to thank uh, the Mind Fiend for giving me this awesome way of creating conveyors and I'm going to show you guys an example of that uh, first I want to show you guys what the conveyors look like okay so all the conveyors are in right now I know it sucks. I would have built it for you, and I did, but I lost everything. So, at least you get a video. So let's just go look at it real fast, and then what I'm going to do is, is show you guys how I built it and how it works, which is pretty awesome. So if you look here, we've got conveyors all the way down there, we've got conveyors all the way down there. Now here's how the conveyors are built, if you're wondering. So what we're going to do is we're going to just dig out. About right here, we're going to just kind of create a little test area. We'll do it to here. So just pretend like this is what it is. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So this would be our ninth block here, which that's where it would be. We're not going to use that. We're going to remove that. And basically what he said and a lot of you probably already know this, I didn't know this because I built my conveyors way different, is you put two half blocks down like that, you know what, we're going to, oh wow, check it out, another cave. Alright, after this I promise we're going to be exploring these because that's what I like doing. Right, let me go ahead and build this up, I need to drop that, let me build this out real fast here. So we can at least continue it through here, so then you can get an idea of how it works. Okay, we grab my shovel, and we gotta go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like this. Okay, just like that. So this is how it works. So if I take my water bucket, oh wait, first of all, let me do this too. Okay. This is for everybody who told me how to do infinite water. Thank you so much. This is a really neat little trick. And no, I did not know how to do it. So I think I need to start spending more time on stuff like this than doing redstone wire. You guys let me know what you think. Okay, so that's basically how you do it right there. You dig it out, and you can make it one deep, and it's got to be four, basically four blocks, and then you put a bucket of water in each corner and then it creates still water which totally makes sense so then but there's an also another way how to do it that the mind fiend told me about which is you can dig three blocks like that there and if you put water here and water here you also get still water and you can take right from the middle and it becomes an infinite pool just like that alright so here's what we're going to do I'm going to put the first bucket in here, second bucket there, make sure you have two buckets that will enable your water to flow that way, then we're going to go ahead and grab another one here, and one there, and then we put it right here, at this part, and at this part here, see how it goes all the way to the end, and what happens is, when this is too high, when the mobs get inside of this, 
it carries them like so and as they're jumping you know the cows are jumping they jump on this block and then they jump again they get pulled right back into the current and that's how you do the flat conveyors once again thank you very much to the mind fiend this is that was a great idea great way to build conveyors all right so let me go ahead and patch these back up real fast pretty neat tricks so yeah like I said I, I just wanted to apologize for what happened but just something I couldn't help and I'll try not to let that happen again I don't think I have any picks on me do I nope but I do have the ability to make some let's just drop a workbench down right there and there we go and there so if someone doesn't know how to make picks this is how you make an iron pick three iron uh, ingots two sticks make a pick so that's all we want so now what we're going to do is get rid of these and figures I take out the water when I, I mean the, the dirt when I need the dirt okay and let's finish patching that up alright we're good so basically that's how it works you guys just like that um, those are how the conveyors work and that's how infinite water works okay I think that's about it yeah we'll go down there later uh, let's see let me make my way up here oh I know what I was going to show you guys we we're actually going to do the start of the actual grinder itself. And there we go. Oh, look, it's chicken. Get out of here. Okay. So from here, where they're going to come into this, uh, this square hole here, and it's going to come down, what we want to do... Now, this is if we were using the lava grinder, which we are going to end up using one, but we have to find lava first. So that'll be probably our next task, to go find lava. So we have one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is where the water is going to end. And so, right here at nine, nine is where we're going to have our loot chute. This is where the loot will fall into. And then right here, why I'm putting the ladders there, I'll explain that in just a minute. So we're going to dig back three blocks. Let's get up here. Just like this like so. And then what's going to happen here is three blocks. We're going to put lava up here. And when lava flows, lava flows four blocks long. So you have one, two, three. And you notice we have a block missing here, but we have a ladder there. Well, what happens is the ladder can hold up the lava, which makes it come out to right here. So when the mobs get pushed by the water, they burn on the lava here, and then the loot falls down in the loot trap. And that's how that works. So when we get some when we get some lava, we'll continue this project down here. But for now, this project is complete until we go find some lava. So that's about it, guys. And once again, I apologize for what happened. I want to thank everybody who uh, told me how to make the infinite water, and I especially want to thank the Mind Fiend for the great idea with the conveyors. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.